Are you Mrs. Savage? Oh, my goodness. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm Kirsten. We found drugs in his locker. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. He does look like one of those. Ask and you shall receive, because today I'll be reacting to Darman, and I have been getting tons of comments on the Tolly Studios about you guys asking for Darman. But we'll be reacting to Teacher Kicks Out Emo Students. What happens next is shocking. Now, if you have never watched Darman video, video ever, don't be too shocked because it's just so predictable about every video. But anyways, let's get into the video. Oh my gosh, she looks like she just crawled out of a Hot Topics dumpster. Gross. What a psycho. Ew. Really, Darman? You had to go there. I even shop at a Hot Topic, you know? And you don't see people going around and say, ew. Are you Mrs. Savage? Oh, my goodness. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm Kirsten, the new student. And your mother lets you dress like that? If I had a daughter, I would never. You know, before you judge someone, you should get to know them. Well, there it is, the darn man life lesson of the day, where you shouldn't judge someone before getting to know them. So typical, isn't it? There is your desk. Sit. Hey. I'm AJ. Kirsten. Nice to meet you. I wouldn't worry about... Did that. the psych ward give you those bracelets to cover up your scars? <laughs> Rose. Ah, cool. Okay, class. I want you to solve for x. We have x equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, etc., etc., to infinity. Now, anyone who can solve this problem by tomorrow will get a really cool prize. We have got two movie tickets and dinner at Giovanni's. Woo! Okay, so what I'm guessing is this is probably Algebra 2, so what I'm guessing their grade is probably 10th or 11th grade. I know. It's infinity. Nope, Rose. Nice try, though. Infinity... plus... one? No, AJ, that's not right. But even if it were, you would have to show your work to win. Right. Aw, look. The creep thinks she's gonna solve it. She probably only had to transfer here because she flunked out of her last school. Or because she got beat up every day for being so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or maybe she's just a regular student just like y'all. <laughs> now one of these days y'all gonna learn the school lunch is not the best. It's not that bad. <laughs> um, emo girl sitting at our table. Not for long. Hold up. Can we not just allow her to sit with us? I mean, she doesn't really know anyone here. You're joking, right? Who would want to sit with someone who's mentally unstable? She could cut someone. You know, back in my day, uh, which would actually be now, no one would say that we cutting themselves, and, you know, people would mind their own business when they're sitting by themselves at a table. Hey, you're sitting at our table. You need to go. There's lots of other places. I got here first. Did you not hear me? You need to leave. I'm almost done. Give me a sec and I'll move. Does Dharma know how humankind works exactly? Because no one would just walk up to a table and say, this is our table. They would just politely say, hey, can you move, please? What is this gibberish? This doesn't even make any sense. X equals negative one over 12. Is that that? I don't know what kind of drugs you're on, but this belongs in the trash. No. You didn't have to do that. I did everyone a favor. We should figure out a way to get rid of her for good. Agreed. I said it once and I'll say it again. Does Darman know how humankind works? No one will throw their notebook in the trash. Principal Brown, what's going on with Abel? We found drugs in his locker. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. He does look like one of those. 
I don't think what he looks like has anything to do with it. But from what I hear, he bought them from someone on campus. So, if you see anything suspicious, please let me know. Oh, I certainly will. And I don't think it's a coincidence it happened today. Aw, do you not have a ride? Did your parents abandon you since you're so weird or something? <laughs> you're so right. Hey, be careful with that eyeliner. Put too much on, you're gonna look like that emo girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'd rather die than look like her. She really creeps me out. Same, oh my gosh. You know, this seems like the average place where a person will go buy drugs in the bathroom of a school. Am I right? Hey, guys. Check it out. My friend hooked me up from the pharmacy. I have more in my locker. Anybody want one? Um, I'm actually dead, but thanks. Please be careful. You heard what happened to Abel. What? Oh my gosh. I didn't know she had drugs the entire time. This is so anticlimactic. I I'm lying. Luckily, he didn't talk. No, I know. I know. It's not like that. I'm not going to get caught. <laughs> Were you spying on us? I was literally just using the restroom. If you say anything, it is not gonna be good for you. Hey, uh, Miss Savage, what are you doing in the bathroom? Trying to get some drugs, get high on live, eh? Get some metal yellow in your Kirsten, can I talk to you for a sec? Sir. Have you talked to a boy named Abel at all? Uh, I don't think so. How did you not see her put the bottle in the bag? You were turned towards- us. Bye, Rose. You know, he got arrested yesterday. Morning, everyone. Has anyone solved this problem yet? Remember, today is the last day to earn your prize. Rose. I think the answer is negative one over 12. Yes, that's it, you got it. Great job. Come up here and- She stole the answer from me. Kirsten, sit down. No, I'm serious, she saw me writing down in my notebook yesterday. She's lying. I would never do that. Now this I can understand, but if you're doing like a worksheet, for example, and someone happens to see it, no one would just stand up and say, she just saw my worksheet. Now I get this is for a prize, okay, I get it. How dare you accuse Rose of that? Rose is a good student, unlike you. She's not as innocent as you think she is, Mrs. Savage. The truth is, I was in the restroom earlier and I overheard- Kirsten is selling drugs. What? No! I knew it was you. From the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were a druggie. And now you're trying to get other kids to be too? I have to ask, does Miss Savage, the actor who plays her, get like the role and just goes like, hey, put a wig on, just act like a Karen? Does she ever get told? You've got it all wrong. I would never do drugs. She's trying to put the blame on me. I saw her have them in a little baggie in the bathroom. They're probably in her backpack. Check it. I have nothing to hide, but if you're going to check mine, you might as well check hers, too. It's fine. You're going to regret this. I don't see anything. Maybe she put them in her locker? First, check hers. Go ahead. You're not going to find anything. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have? Oh, those pills? Oh, those are for my allergies. I, uh, I chew a lot. I have here. How did the... How did the... Those aren't mine, I swear. I have seen everything I need to see. Do you think I am going to believe a degenerate, punk rock-looking delinquent like you over one of my own prize students? Come on, you're coming with Wait. me. Ow! 
Your bracelet almost cut me. Oh, don't you mean they almost pricked you? Not cut you, pricked you? You shouldn't be allowed to wear that at school. It's like I said, she probably wears those to cover up her scars from when she tries to cut herself. I wouldn't be surprised. She's clearly unstable. You are coming with me to Principal Just give Brown. Me a second. Okay, you're right. I do have scars on my wrists. But you're wrong about me being a cutter and about being a bad student or doing drugs. You see. It? You see, that night didn't go so well. I never cut myself. After the cops came and found out what happened, my parents got arrested. And I ended up in Child Protective Services. That's why I moved and transferred here. So to answer the question you asked me yesterday, my mom does let me dress like this. But probably because her and my dad don't care about me. Okay, so I'm going to save all the boredom by saying, by giving y'all a rundown. Basically, Rose gets expelled for having drugs because someone snitched on her. And AJ um, helps her out because she, the teacher said originally to, um, you know, show up work. But Rose did not, and Kirsten did. Uh, Kirsten uh, got the uh, gift certificates, and both AJ and um, Kirsten go on a date. And... Um, Kirsten and uh, Miss Savage apologize to Kirsten and saying you should never judge a book by its cover. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. The her friends want to hang out for, but of course she declines. Well, there you have it, guys. Your Darman video of the week. I'll make another one. Dar dar. We will meet again. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider pushing the big subscribe button? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.